it is just mind blowing to me the power of my Mother Nature, isn't it? Unbelievable. I always hated that door. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Rip her out of here. Crush it. Oh, massive loss to the uh, air compressor and our tile trailer. Oh, duh. Ah, let me out of here. Doesn't everyone love that sound? Isn't that a great sound? That's a great sound, crushing steel and wood. Look at all the grain pens are gone except one. So financially, fortunately, all this stuff is covered. So financially, we're not affected. Uh, Emotionally, we might be affected, but in a natch, basically a national disaster. Every everyone around here is got damages that look like this, if not worse. Trees down uh, over there. I know you can't see, but we got trees down on the land scraper. Uh, we got two augers flipped over. One there, one on the other side of the shed. Well grain bends in fields. Anyways, we are insured. It's just a major pain and we're getting fairly close to planting now, like we should be planting, but it's still pretty wet. We're, we'll see what happens. Maybe in the next day or two, we can get out and do something, but we gotta take pictures because there's no way that the insurance company is gonna get adjusters out to all this. So I called our agent and they said, just take pictures of the damages. Obviously, no one can argue that this isn't totaled out, this whole thing. When that grain bin left that foundation, it rolled up and over here. Luckily, I don't think there's too much terrible damage. I think our uh, tile trailer took some injuries, but we're gonna get our top or bottom out of here and our livestock trailer out of here before any collapsations happen. Yeah. I'm really glad our nice hopper bottom didn't get ruined. Because like everything else in the United States right now, you can't buy anything new. And then the used market's so inflated you could buy new for what used cost. Makes sense, right? Just like vehicles. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. I'm thinking that our tile trailer here is holding up our building somewhat or a lot. So we need to get these other two out of here before we pull this out because then it could collapse and crush more stuff. When a building gets ripped apart, this is the type of stuff that you find. Just nails, screws, so I'm sure that's everywhere, Brody. Everywhere, screws and nails. We'll be fixing tires for the rest of our life. So we're gonna need a truck in here. You gotta be careful, because the frost heaves up the cement here. Fuel tanks are always in play for your totalization. Good. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, keep her coming. Yeah, drop your air a little.
There's some things that you just wish would get totaled out. Huh. I mean, I didn't say that. We might have to go find a home for that other stuff and come back with a pickup and then get Big Bob and pull or push out on the wall from the outside, pull maybe with a chain or just the grapple, try and get it off of that thing. So we got Eric in here. New idea, chain hooked up to the frame. We're gonna try to pull this to the uh, to the north, away from the wall. We'll see how it goes. If we see stuff getting damaged, we will stop. That worked just like I thought. like this, we would have been much better off having it sitting outside. Eric! That's just disappointing. Brody, have you ever seen this? It's... I would guess it's Doug's. It's, <laughs> it's Douglas El Tigre. Tigra? Something, Articat snowmobile that engine is blowed up. You ever wondered what's up there? What's up there? The door blew off, let's go look. I see a lot of manure from raccoons. Here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lots of poo poo. Man, I bet they just love this in the winter. scare me like that. Yeah, no wonder they have that such a beaten path going up there. Well, Eric's going to stay and clean up what he can with the skid loader. I thought Dad was supposed to come back over here and get in the excavator and start moving trees and green bends, but whatever. We're going to keep moving. This is going to the farm. that you took the easy one to crank. And he just smiles. So, we had to bring dump truck home and we had to get the uh, pallet forks, do more cleaning of the shed. Also, pretty much everywhere was out of power around the neighborhood. Some still are, it's been five days. Lots of generating needed. Well, we've got a couple of plows and a six bottom and an eight bottom that are underneath some trees here. So I'm going to try and pull them out with the skid loader so that Dad can safely work here without crushing anything because they're not damaged yet. Well, Dad's into the uh, grain bend removal from field. This, uh, this was a 10,000 bushel bent here, was. Now it looks more like a smashed pop can, but it's about to get more smashed, it looks like. What are you doing? I'm gonna smash this big beer can that somebody <laughs> threw in my field. <laughs> Think of the size of that guy. God's been drinking beer. No. Why do you only drink wine? He makes wine out of water. I didn't, yeah. 
Mother Nature sure drinks. Well, this was a drunken, uh, <laughs> what do they call that when people get drunk and go crazy? That's what this was. It was a drunkard something, something. Okay, I'm going to smash this thing. Yeah. Stand I'm back. waiting. Get off Instagram. Get given well, it. I was going to post this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, work gets done after Instagram for Dougal. Sweet. That was really cool. Uses the whole thing's weight. <laughs> They're filming it. He's having way too much fun. Now he's gonna probably fold it all up and go stack it in the grove somewhere with the other ones that he's collected. And then if we ever get time or get bored, we will uh load it up and sell this scrap iron, I suppose. Well, our plans have changed drastically for the day. Randy was out field scouting and he found a field that he says should be ready in two to three days. So he headed out off the yard with the digger, I guess. Try to dry it out. And uh, anyways, he also found some damages out in the field. Some tile issues. So we're loading this up to go fix some tile now. Well, we found it and we've determined that it was rodents. So probably before the tile was installed, some sort of rodent went and nibbled holes in it, which then created a hole where the water, when it was running through this pipe right here, actually sucked the dirt in. And long story short, it is repaired now. We put actual dual wall in. Uh, just that's what we kind of like to fix tile with because when you drop the big mud chunks back in it doesn't deform it so next best thing when you don't have p-rock
project's done. The diggers are, one digger is actually out here right now getting it set up. I think we're gonna spread some fertilizer tomorrow if it doesn't rain, even though it's sprinkling right now and we lost our sun. We have hopes, we have hopes. But really, Randy drove around a couple hours a day and this is kind of the only field and it really isn't that fit, so we're not too excited. Welcome to Big Stone County. If there's one rock, there's one, two, three rocks in the same area. Every time. Really not excited now. Heading for the hills, it's downpouring. Oh man, this year just keeps on a given. Just teases us with enough warm weather to get us to think we can go and then pour rain. Well guys, there's a good way to end a video disappointed. Still raining all the way back to the farm. But it's quitting time, I guess, and another rain delay. So thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.